Welcome back everybody. So after removing some more cables and upholstery in the wheelhouse it was a key moment for me removing the steering wheel of the flybridge, taking it home, restoring it and getting it ready for its second life. Look what came in the mail today. Asbestos control package. After a careful read through the manual, I prepped myself to get a sample of the the packing and send it to a laboratory for further investigation. In preparation of this job I already dampened the packing a bit to limit the amount of dust that could possibly set free. Okay, and so while I eagerly wait the results coming back from the lab, I turn my attention back to the dune portholes. As you might have seen in last episodes, I'm struggling to get these portholes out. I need to get them out to restore the portholes, but also to treat the walls and bulkheads thoroughly. As you can imagine, it's a small fiesta every time I actually get one out. Ah yes, baby! And one success leads to another, so with full confidence, I started on the next one. So I am super excited about this next bit, really I'm flabbergasted and you will see why. I have a whole box of uh, metal, bronze, stainless steel and all kinds of other pieces and instruments and I was looking for a good way to clean them all until, until I found this. It is steel wool. And I didn't expect at all that steel wool would clean that well. And that is because there are several grades of corners. You have four different types and this one is super fine. Let me give you a demo. Fibers are running this way. So you want to be polishing that way, right? So I'm holding it like this. Just 
just by rubbing on it you can turn it from this into this in a matter of minutes I was looking for a way to clean the windows I took off the boat and they're stainless steel as you remember they're extremely dirty and they got some oxidation and corrosion on them put a tape on it so you could see the difference one side treated the other side not you can even polish the glass with it but I am flabbergasted about the result I mean I need to get going at this a bit more but as you can see it's beautiful right look at this look at this navigation light it was dull and now man it's shining like new Lots of cleaning to do in the upcoming cold winter nights to keep myself warm. This certificate came back with the result of the little sample I sent in. Now, unfortunately, it is positive for chrysotile. Chrysotile was widely used from the 60s onwards in all kinds of applications. The particularity of chrysotile is that it has curly fibers, which makes it less dangerous than his family members, but still dangerous. Now, having it removed by a professional company would cost me about a thousand euros, including the shipment. Now, on the Belgian OVAM website, I've found out that I am allowed to remove it as long as I stay below 35 square meters of asbestos and present everything in an appropriate way to the recycling park. And with this gloomy news, I leave you now. Until the next time, see you there.